in this segment we will study what are the economies and diseconomies of scale what do you mean by economies and diseconomies of scale economies means where the firm because of its increasing scale is arriving at benefits is accruing benefits benefits in terms of reduction in cost of production per unit what happens is when the firm expands when the firm produces more and more units the cost of production of one unit goes down it keeps on going down as the production is increase this is called economies of scale that is as you increase the scale you tend to get economies from it the reason for this being because the firm employs a certain level of factors of production until those factors of production have achieved their optimum level of utilization the cost goes on reducing once the factors of production have achieved their optimum utilization level the cost of production becomes least there however after this point if the production is increased furthermore it puts a lot of pressure on those factors of production as a result the firm now starts getting diseconomies the cost of production of one unit now goes on increasing as the production is kept on increasing so initially when the firm expands when the production is increased the firm tends to get economies from it and later on the firm tends to get diseconomies from the scale after a certain level of production however economies and diseconomies which are accrued to a firm are because of two reasons first because of the internal reasons of the firm second because of the external reasons now internal economies of scale or internal diseconomies of scale are due to firms own efforts however external economies or diseconomies of scale are due to the expansion of the industry that is when the whole industry grows the firm in that industry also tends to grow thus the firm achieves economies of scale from external factors now if the firm is achieving economies of scale due to increase in the efficiency of labor of its uh, due to increase in the efficiency of its labor or due to a selection of better machinery these all are factors which relate only to that firm and thus these factors will be called as internal factors and economies arise from these factors is called as internal economies of scale however if the firm grows because the whole industry has grown or the labor overall has become skilled or the ancillary industries ancillary means related industries for example if you are a firm engaged in manufacture of tires ancillary industry for you would be the rubber industry if the industry processing or manufacturing rubber grows it will become very easy for you to produce a high quality tire so the ancillary industry grows you tend to grow likewise if you are producing bikes the ancillary industries for you will be 
a tire manufacturing company, spare parts manufacturing industries, industries producing nuts and bolts, industries producing all those goods which involve iron and steel. So again iron and steel becomes ancillary industry. Now if all these industries grow, you are bound to get a better product. You will give your customers a better buy at a lower rate. So when your firm grows because of factors which are beyond your control, that is the growth of ancillary industries, the growth of your own industry or the labor overall becoming skilled, not of your firm only, but of the whole industry. When the labor becomes skilled, you tend to get economies from it. And these economies are called external economies. Mm.